Hello everyone and welcome back to Surviving Mars. We are going to continue on here with the development of our colony here on the Ru not Russian, goodness, I was going to say the Russian surface, the Martian surface, goodness gracious, ah, if we can actually get our planets right and where we're at. Anyway, whoa, we just jumped out really far. Hey, let's queue up some more areas to uh, scan, scan that, let's scan this one, excellent. Man, look at this. We are starting to already stretch our base out. We are going to get water production going here uh, momentarily. Let's uh, let's give this a little better angle. There we go. Okay, what do we need here? We need... We have the drone hub here. We need concrete and machine parts. Let's go pick up concrete and machine parts. And let's see. Can we do that with what we have? Um... Hmm. I'm going to need to essentially delete. How far out does this guy go? How far out does this go? Okay, I need to put. Yes. I need to put a storage bin right here so that we can actually get some of those supplies over here. Let's do that really quick. This will get things moving. Wait a minute, that's storage is here. Okay, universal. Yep, we're gonna put you right here. What we're gonna do is we are going to delete. Yes. Let's salvage this one. Let's get things moving. And what they're going to do is they're going to bring those, all those little drones, right down here. That will allow these drones here. Oh, you know what we need to do? Scoot right about there. Excellent. Research complete. Now what that should do is allow these drones to grab from here and drive all the way down here. Sector scanned. Oh, we got sectors. We got research. We're doing good. Now look at this. They're going to bring that over. That's going to get water pumping into our base, which is fantastic. That will be super helpful. Oh, look at that. Oh, polymers. Very nice. Pick those up. That'll be very beneficial. Oh, look, our oh first ship here, my cargo ship, is actually fueled and ready to go back. We will send them back. There it goes. And it's off. It's on its way. Okay. Let's go back up like this. That's a nice view. But just like that. We're almost done here. Oh, one more piece of concrete. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Okay. You should have the little guy coming right now with the piece of concrete right there and that'll get this built up and here it goes cable fault reported water production oh we've got to get power over here oh boy we can do that we're gonna put up a wind turbine let's do something just like this That'll get our little drones rocking and rolling. Okay, we've got water, we've got oxygen. And the, that's one of the really nice things is that this same pipe will haul both water and oxygen to the dome and to all the storage tanks. Once we get power up and running, let's grab power cables and go boop. Will that really be enough? I wonder if it'll actually attach a cord to both. Let's see. That will be really, really cool if it does. Boom, look at that. Very nice. Has its own power consumption right there. Power is 5.4. Beautiful. Okay. 
and that is all connected so this battery here will also continue to hold that charge we can actually put one more battery in here that probably wouldn't hurt just for some additional storage we'll go just like that that'll be built up by the drones here really quick excellent now we have water production we have oxygen right here we have fuel for our uh, ships and we are fully stocked on oxygen look at this that fast we are gaining water and that's gonna climb we will put one more um, water tower over here as well just for the sake of uh, redundancy it's nice to have that extra bit um, oh I thought a section of the uh, pipe fell off. That wouldn't have been good. Um, okay. Oh, and we're actually going to need to build a, put a stockpile in here, actually a rubble pile uh, for the dumping site. Put that. You know what? For sake of this here, we're going to go, whoop, oops, wrong button. There we go. That is both of those. That'll put the debris from here, as you can see, generating right there. Water production is solid. We're doing very well. Excellent. Okay, it is time, ladies and gentlemen, to start to build out the individual pieces of our uh, dome. Let's get things moving here. Homes, what do we have? Um, Ooh, low G. So let's do living quarters, just like this. Oh, and what we we'll need to do is turn this back on. Shortage. Oh, we have a power shortage. That's not good. Hmm. Oh, you know what we need to do? I never did connect that, did I? Well, we just might have to throw some power cables in here. Like this. Come across to here. That should be close enough to actually plug in. I might have to do one more. I know buildings aren't working. We're working on it. We're working on it, guys. We're working on it. Oh, actually, it connected right there. Sector scanned. So once this... Found. Oh, we got an anomaly. Let's go find it. Get our RC Explorer out here. Um, whoa, where did we go? Way over there. Wow. Super cool. And... Oh. Research complete. I didn't realize, but I never actually scanned... Um, Actually, that message there that I just clicked away, um, if you might would have to pause it there, but it's saying that we can actually bring in colonists now uh, because we have a dome and it has living quarters. Um, it's missing a lot of other things that we will also need as well. Um, but yeah, we do have the living quarters. We can take colonists, but we're also going to throw... Uh, we definitely want to not throw, but we're going to need to make sure we put in food. So there is... We have a hydroponic farm... Where is regular farm? I guess I remember seeing a farm. I definitely got that far in my first playthrough. Oh, have I not unlocked farms yet? I thought it was in one of these. Am I missing it? Goodness gracious. That's storage. That's the dome. Living quarters, apartments, playground, school, nursery. Breakthrough I... discovered. Oh. Multi spiral. Multi spiral architecture. Uh oh. What just baroque? Um, this guy. Insufficient power. Wow, the dome wiped it out. Let's turn that off. For right now, we can turn it off. It's not going to hurt anything. But we definitely do need more power. Goodness gracious. 
So now that that's on again, let's do this. I want to see what is our power consumption. Wow, power production. The demand is 43 and we have 21. Whew, goodness gracious. Um, yes, that'll be a small issue. Let's see what we have for power. We need to definitely do something. Oh, we have a nice little generator over here, don't we? Um, let's put you right here. That should connect up automatically there. Boop. This generates 10. We are going to open it up as well because that will double it. And now let's see how we're doing. If we turn this back on, let's take a quick look. We have a power surplus of 8. Nice. Well, definitely during the day because we have the large solar panels running. So, ah, good to know, good to know. Oh, we're running out of storage over here, aren't we? I just noticed that these uh, piles here are full. Excellent, good. That will be taken care of. So yeah, dust storms will, this will have to be closed during a dust storm or else it will affect it. Uh, we are charging up ever so slightly, but hey, at least we are charging. Uh, I'm thinking we might have to build a series of these towers here. Hmm. Sector scanned. Uh -oh. Nothing. Let's go back out to the map. Okay, that's there four there let's jump back okay so we are definitely going to expand some of our power here we definitely got to get that situation under control so when we bring in our colonists our first colonists that they will have plenty to suit their needs and make sure they are doing well okay let's do that that's three more yay Okay, the living quarters. Let's go back over here. Um, I figure they're gonna need a place to eat. So we have living quarters. They'll need a, yeah a place to eat. That'll definitely be helpful. Let's do so in here. Um, as we pick these out, like for example, the diner is a obviously a place that's gonna serve food, um, but it actually takes care of dining, social, and food. So that's really helpful um, in the different attributes and qualities of living conditions that our colonists uh, will want in their dome. So we will put that in here. Uh, let's see. Like this, for example, an art workshop has luxury and shopping, which again is very beneficial. Electronic stores, shopping and gaming. Security, obviously, would be security. Um, that's, yeah. So the space bar, let's see, we have dining, social, and food. Oh, and the space bar, for example, has relaxation, drinking, and social. So that works out nice there as well. You definitely want to have a place for them to kind of just relax. So relaxation can be taken care of in a little small garden like this. Uh, that can also be very nice um, to put in as well. What we're going to do here is we're going to power off a number of these as we just don't need it to consume any of the energy that we're trying to stack up. As you can see here, we are fully stacked on power. We are doing very well. That is good. Good, good, good. We have, yes, look at this concrete. We are rocking it. We are crunching it up. Man. That's awesome. Okay, so we have the diner. I want to look for that farm again. I could have. Wait a minute. Let's go and research. Do we just have we just not unlocked this thing yet? Um, low G turbines. Um, oh, we have the low G high rises. Water reclamation, magnetic filtering. Oh. 
Oh, it's an oval dome. Yeah, we'll grab that. Breakthrough. Breakthroughs are good. Um, let's see. Autonomous. Oh. And actually, we're going to move the uh, low-G turbines. If this is going to increase our power, we're going to raise this up. As, oh. I thought there was a way... Ah, it's control. Click. There we go. Ooh, now what I'm really curious on is, did we lose the progress we made on the Explorer AI? We'll have to come back and look once uh, the low-G turbines. That's going to be super beneficial because it does a production increase of 33, and we definitely need that. So, very nice. Good to have, good to have. Okay, so I think we've got the power situation under control. Um, I do want to uh, double check and see what power looks like once it is nighttime and these large solar panels go down. And let's see, we are not producing during the night. Ah, good, we're still at 52.7 and our demand is 37. So we are doing well. Um, we're not losing anything right there. Perfect, we can continue on with our development in our dome so we can get our colonists here. Is that the rate we're going? We're most likely gonna have colonists coming. Goodness gracious, I keep sliding. Um, in the next episode, so. I'm thinking we haven't actually opened this up from. So we're going to need some food. We're going to put a hydroponic farm in. Because that's going to be beneficial. Put that there. You know what? We might... Uh, actually, let's go back to this build menu. How many people does that need? Three workers on a single shift. Okay. This one is going to need four workers. This can take 14. So we have plenty of room. Let's uh, grab some other things here as well. I'm gonna power this off for now. Again, just to conserve. Oh, that's one of the things we're gonna need to do is turn that back on for our production as well. But we're like 20 points over, so we're doing really well. Not too worried there. Let's grab an art workshop. That'll be good to have. Put that in that corner. You definitely wanna occupy as much of that space as you can, um, especially with how tight these domes can be. So let's see, we might actually have space here for something in the relaxation area. Can we put, oh, look at that. Small garden right there. Excellent. That's very nice. What that means is we could potentially take this one out, um, but kind of the option's ours. We can see how we want to do that. But I figure if the hydroponics farm is close to the diner, the transfer of food will be um, quick Sector for our colonists. Scan. Anomaly Ooh. found. An anomaly. Oh, we gotta get our little rover. He's way over here. Oh yeah. You need to come on back home. Right here. Drive on back and then we'll send him down here to scan this one. That'll be really beneficial. Uh, building's not working. Oh, we depleted the deposits here. Nice. So as you can see, um, we've actually uh, we've actually taken care of all the deposits here. We cannot uh, destroy this yet. Vehicle battery low. Oh, can we? We're gonna salvage that for some parts. We will build another concrete extractor. So right here, as you can see, um, oh, that'll work. We did already research it. Bink, now it's gone. Uh, I didn't think we had actually researched that quite yet, but we are further along than I was thinking. I'm gonna go right here, and we will bring the cable for power from here. right there boom oh there we go and that's gonna keep digging away excellent we definitely want to keep that concrete coming in as we uh, build out further we're gonna see a lot more things that need concrete especially as we have these buildings 
rocking and rolling. Uh, you know what? I think we are super close. Um, oh, there we are. Our little rover is back and fully charged, which is great. Come on over. You're the next contestant on Research This Now. Anyway. Okay, so we have luxury and shopping. We have food production. Um, this is really cool as well. Um, as you can see here, these are the different uh, plants that we can grow. Microgreens, wheatgrass, leaf crops. I kind of did that way out of order. <laughs> um, that's going to help produce food. Um, I usually try to keep it on things that will produce the most uh, that's necessary. Uh, or a lot of times I will switch it up. The farm is actually really nice because you actually have to worry about um, good yield but slow growth, low yield but grows fast. So I'll probably switch that to wheatgrass there and then um, you kind of alternate them a bit so that it actually um, produces food um, kind of at a staggered rate. Um, I really want to get to the farms. The farms actually help produce a lot. Ooh, new tech. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Feel free to pause here if you want to read the rest of that there. But it looks like we have uh, soil adaptation and subsurface heating. Very nice. Productivity training. Martian subsurface heating. We don't really have a cold environment, so we're kind of really okay there. Look at that, about halfway done these uh, turbines. Soil adaptation. Oh, that, we need that. Um, yes, please. There's the farm. That's what we needed. Perfect. It will be coming soon to a dome near you. Yay. Uh, excellent. So, actually, with that... Um, yeah, oh, actually one more building I wanted to put up before we call this episode complete because um, we have the art which is luxury and shopping. I want to put in the electronics store. Um, I'm a bit of a geek myself so I always love having an electronics store nearby. I mean, I don't think we really have a Martian Best Buy or anything but hey, worth a try. Worth a try. Okay. So, with that being said there, we're going to get this electronics store built here. Um, if you guys have enjoyed this video or enjoyed this series, if you guys can hit that like button, that helps me huge with the analytics. If you're new to the channel, I welcome you. It is always great to have new people here on the channel to uh, engage with, to comment with, to um, talk about different things that could be done either better or uh, if I miss something that I didn't even realize, I, I love getting that uh, feedback from you guys. I'm very open to those. Uh, if you are so inclined to hit that subscribe button, I am humbled and honored for everyone who does that. Uh, it is just so, it's amazing to see how many people have enjoyed the content, uh, the variety of games that we're, I'm trying to put out here. Um, if there's games that you, that you guys like, would like to see me play, feel free to drop a comment on any video. I'm always welcome. I always encourage that. Uh, with you guys, I definitely want to make content that you guys enjoy as well. So um, when you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell icon. Change it to all so you know when any new video or series comes out on the channel. With that being said, I thank you, and we will see you in the next video.